I realized in all of the videos that I have about Resolve and Fusion, I haven't explained this really simple concept that I hope is a light bulb moment for many of you. And that's how to deal with the fact that there are no layers in Fusion. And if you come from something that uses layers, how do you translate that knowledge into how Fusion works with nodes and that craziness? Let's jump in. So say we have a shot like this with kind of this slow dolly in on our subject here, and we want to add a layer of text over this, right? Some kind of graphic. Normally what you would do in a layer based program is you would take some text and you would put it on some kind of layer stack, right? You'd have a timeline down here and you'd drag it down to a layer. Well, in Fusion, we have nodes and there isn't any kind of layer panel here with the nodes. They just kind of connect in a flowchart. So instead of putting a new layer on top of this background layer, what we do is we use a merge node. A merge node by default lives right here by our second divider here in our toolbar. I can grab this in like this and generally we'll build this flow from left to right. And so we'll start with our background, our media in. This is just the video from the timeline. And then we'll pump this into our merge and then we'll take the merge and put that into media out. And so far nothing is happening. If we want to put text over this, we can use this third icon over here, which is text. And we can pump this into the foreground of the merge. That's the green input of the merge. So now we say this would be layer two. So we have layer one, which is our original media. And then we go to the right and whatever's pumped into this merge node, this is essentially our second layer. So if we want to add a layer on top of this, we could maybe get some more text here. We'll call this layer three and I'll change the color just to make things a little easier. We can merge that after our first layer. So you can think about this as put down one layer, then put down another layer, then put down the third layer and then render it, right? So here's layer three and it is in fact on top of layer two, okay? So we're just building this from left to right instead of bottom to top. In fact, if it helps, you could do something like have media in one like this and then have your merge like that. And if that kind of helps to think about this, that's fine. So this first one is our first layer, second layer, third layer. It doesn't really matter how these nodes are laid out in the flow. It just matters how they're connected. When you plug a line into this triangle, it makes a arrow and things always flow along the arrows here, right? But by default, it goes from left to right. We start with our media in and then we merge something over it. Then we merge something over that. And then our media out is what we'll actually see in the timeline. Let's say I want to switch these layers. What I can do is just switch their order here in the flow chart. So if I want layer three to be in between layer two and our first layer, our background, I can select this and hold shift and I can take it out of the flow and still holding shift, I can drop it back in the flow like that. And guess what? We have layer three behind layer two right now. So it's just kind of a different way of thinking. Instead of just putting a layer directly over another layer, we're just making a flow chart that says do the first layer, then do the second layer, then do the third layer, and so on. And if this seems like a whole lot of work just to do a layer, well, think about it this way. Anytime that you're going to make a new layer of some kind, whether it's an image or text or whatever, you have to create that layer. So we have to make this text anyway. And if it feels like a lot of work to put this merge in and then connect the text to the merge, then we can always use a couple shortcuts, right? So instead of making that merge node, I can take the output of this text, which is from this little gray square, and I can drag it onto the little square on whatever I want to merge it on top of. So it's literally like dragging it on top of it. We just drag it on top of this little square and then that will make a merge automatically. And so it's not actually that big of a deal to add another layer once you get used to working like that. Again, we'll just make this a different color. And it's also not a big deal to rearrange the layers so I can just hold shift and drop this in here and there's our layers. And what I really like about doing it this way is that I can see everything that's going on. I don't just have three layers here with, you know, hidden properties or whatever. If I want to add a blur to a layer, I can just blur it before it gets merged like this. So I can blur this layer three text. If I want to color correct a layer before I merge it again, just put it through that effect before that merge. If I want to color correct a bunch of layers at a time, like everything all at once, I don't need to make an adjustment layer or anything like that. I just put this node after my layers and it will color correct the whole image at once. So it actually saves a little bit of time here because at any point you can color correct any part of this composition, either just the background, just the text, just the other text, or everything all at once just by holding shift and kind of dragging this somewhere else in the flow. It's a super smart way to work. So yeah, that's kind of the concept of layers in Fusion. There aren't really layers per se, but it's the same idea. 
you take one thing, you put another thing over it, you put another thing over that. And then I have essentially like an adjustment layer here. And then whatever gets connected to media out is what gets rendered. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. I haven't seen anybody just explain it that way. So let me know. Let me know if uh, this, this was a light bulb for you. And uh, hey, if you want more about Fusion, we actually have a class, Pro Compositing in DaVinci Resolve. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. And it's a good time. So uh, yeah, check it out. And I hope that your layers are in a cake because cake is good. No matter what our editor Sam says, Sam is wrong about cake.